wouldn't it be great if the relationship between VMs and the underlying storage were transparent to the VMware admin, and at the same time, the storage to VM relationships in the opposite direction were transparent to the storage administrator? And most importantly, wouldn't it be great if that was visible and transparent in their natural management context? That's what EMC has done through VMware storage and integration with vCenter. If we take a look here, let's look at a use case example. There's a VM whose performance is a little bit slower than the VMware administrator would like. If they take a look at the performance indicators, it suggests that the problem is the underlying storage subsystem. Now, historically, they would have had no idea what would be causing this because they'd have no visibility beyond the most basic things, the data stores that that VM is on and the underlying LUNs that the uh, ESX hosts are seeing. What we've added is a vCenter plugin, the EMC Storage Viewer, and here you can see it shows that that SATA2 data store is actually on that particular array uh, using that particular LUN, in this case LUN27, it's protected via RAID 5, um, and uh, it's, it's configured properly from a multipathing standpoint. Now they can pick up the phone and they can tell the storage admin, hey, it's this array with this LUN that seems to be having a performance problem. Taking a look at it, the array management interface, previously the storage admin only knew about hosts and LUNs. But now they can see the relationship between the LUNs and the virtual machines. So for example, here they can say, hey, that LUN is that data store on the VMware side, and LUN72 corresponds with that LUN, and you can even see what virtual machines are on that particular data store. So you see the same relationship, but just in the opposite direction. This is a whole new level of visibility. And you can see, for example, that they can go and they can take a look at that LUN, they can pull up all of the performance details that they normally can within EMC Navisphere, um, and do lots and lots of analysis. They can even go and take a look at that particular uh, LUN from a host and storage group perspective, and again, correlate it back to the underlying VMs themselves. So for example, looking at the LUN properties, they can go, and if the request came in and said, hey, LUN72 seems to be having the problem, they can say, aha, it's being used by these ESX hosts, that ESX host has these VMs on it that are using these virtual disks on those particular data stores. Now they can easily remediate this. They can remediate it at the data store level using EMC storage technologies like virtual LUNs. And if they want to remediate it for that one particular VM that's having the issue, it's simple and easy to go back into vCenter and start a storage vMotion operation, which is what we're doing here. They can identify which of the data stores is the right target. And once again, both the storage administrator and the VMware administrator have that end-to-end -end visibility of what is actually using what and where it is. So, at the end of the storage vMotion operation, what's interesting is if we bring up the actual performance data, the VMware administrator can see, again, in their natural management context, that right now it's doing 50 IOs per second, that particular VM, and you'll notice that as the operation completes, that performance will start to increase. So you see that IOs per second is increasing, and the IO response time is decreasing. Problem solved, simple and easy, through transparency for the VMware administrator, and the storage administrator connecting for the first time VMware and the underlying storage from a management standpoint. The real key is that it's being done for each user in the context that's the most familiar and the most useful for them. The VMware administrator in vCenter, the storage administrator in the storage management console. Now if we only look at the production storage itself and not the replication relationships, the user still only have half the picture. For example, in Site Recovery Manager, when you configure protection groups in VMware, uh, it only allows you to select ones that have underlying storage being replicated. But that's a catch-22. How do you know what's being replicated? Well, here, for example, we've got these three VMs on an ESX host, and they're sitting on a set of data stores. And again, the storage administrator and the VMware administrator historically don't know which one of these things are being replicated. It's a matter of maintaining spreadsheets and picking up phone calls and talking about the various disk devices. Um, what would be ideal is if you could see the relationship of what's being re replicated and what's being protected at the VM object layer. Degree of vCenter integration into our replication products, which is what we're going to take a look at here. By the way, this is another ESX host. So again, customers' environments are complex. They've got lots and lots of vSphere clusters. Each cluster contains many hosts. Each one of them has many data stores, uh, block and, and NAS data stores. Taking a look at the recover point management GUI, you can see that it logs into Virtual Center and shows them those ESX hosts and those vSphere clusters have got these VMs. And the little green checkbox means it's being replicated. It's being remotely replicated and it's being protected. Historically, 
this person who's responsible for configuring the replication had no idea about whether the VMs were being replicated. They only knew about uh, the underlying storage objects. Here, the relationship is quick and apparent and easy and visual. It's also important to obviously show what's not being protected because, for example, you would not be able to configure those into a Site Recovery Manager Protection Group. So if we go and we take a look in the non-VM LUNs, you'll see that there's a LUN that is not being used by uh, VMware today and that the big red X means it's not being protected. This is all available now. VM Aware Storage and Replication from EMC.